Welcome to Deep Thought. Some people want to draw you into their negative world. That's one thing you got to be careful of out here. And I think it's something um, I've talked about before, but one of the things I found in life, sometimes you got to hammer the message in. And it's an important thing. And plus, you know, on this channel, it's all about thinking. Like sometimes you can know something, you can talk about it, but then things happen and you get distracted. So you have to be reminded. So look at it as this as a reminder. But you have people out there, they're negative. They are negative, just negative people, not just online. We see it online. How many people, how many content creators are quite frankly negative and they making money off of it? But even if they weren't, they'd still be saying the same thing because you got plenty of content creators who aren't making money. They're still saying the same thing, but they want to draw people into it. Some people are blatantly lying, like they telling blatant lies. They could tell a blatant lie about someone else, but someone else wants to believe it. But that person's telling a lie. Hey, they good because they drawing you into their world or drawing a person into their world. And shoot, and that's an obvious example online, but what about in real life? What about in real life, everyday streets? How often have we met a person on just on some, they just negative talk, negative talk. I use an example before I even got online, I, there was some uh, men I knew who had nothing but negative. Every time you get in a conversation, the women this, the women that, and it's just like, man, I can't deal with this. I, I can't deal with this. I don't want to be a part of that world. Because ultimately, all of us would like people to see our version of reality. All of us, every single one of us want everybody to see our viewpoint, our version of reality. Now, some of us, hey, we got the ability to do that, good or bad. If it's good, it's not a bad thing. But ultimately, people still need to think for themselves. And if it's bad, it's definitely a bad thing. And you had some people, like you had some people like, they're not successful, they, they are not successful in life. They are struggling. They want fellow travelers. They want fellow travelers. Indeed, they will hate on someone who's actually successful, but they want to sit around and complain, you know? They want to say, well, you know, I'm broke. So are they going to hang around some entrepreneurs or hustlers? Oh no, they want some other broke people. Then they can talk about it because it goes down to our deep need for a community to share our experiences. And that regardless of what it is, that's why you have subcultures because you have groups of people who see things the same way. And let's be clear, all subcultures aren't necessarily positive. Many of those subcultures are negative worlds in themselves. And it's a whole lot out there. I don't want to even, I don't even want to throw out any names or anything because I don't, I don't want somebody negative hearing something that resonates with them. Then they start looking for it and then they add to it, you know? And that's, that's the thing. And you, I'm going to tell you what, it's not so much they exist, but you got to ask yourself, do you want to be a part of that world? Seriously, think about it. Do you want to be a part of it? What do you want? Like me, you know what? I'm an optimistic person. I'm a, I'm optimistic. You know, I could have my, I could have, I could have my, be buried in sand up to my neck, and I'll be like, oh, I still can breathe. Oh man, the sun is out tonight. Wow, I'm finally resting my body. <laughs> That's just me. But somebody else will be like, oh no, I'm buried and everything. But then you get some other people want to share that experience. Seriously, like you get, and please, I've seen so many, it's so many, like I said, I don't want to call any names, but let's say I've encountered a lot. It's just in general, and that's just in general with me, that's why I like talking about subculture so much. I've encountered so many, I can't even give you a count. I can't even give you a count. Like, uh, let's just say, I know I have people who aren't um, African American who also follow this channel, but People calling it one large uh, community really don't know the nuances. Um, I've probably, I can't, I've lost count of how many subcultures I've encountered just within the African American, just within the African American community. And all of them ain't positive, to just put it like that. But 
People want to draw you into it. Even, you know, and it's a shame sometimes those people might be a loved one or a friend whose word we might trust. Like say they're a loved one, say they're a parent. Say you got some parents or some jacked up stuff. I actually feel sorry for the children because then the children saying thinking the same way because uh, where do children, most children get their philosophies from? Their parents. Indeed, that's why a lot of young people that grow up become adults need to get therapy. And they got it from the wrong thing because their parents, of course, they, the parents got a negative worldview. They're going to make sure their children have it, you know? Or say they in a subculture. I remember, like this is one. I ain't calling any names, but I remember back in D.C. back in the day, like near my grandfather's house. I had some buddies there. They were like cousins to me. But there was a bad-ass family. I mean, they, these were just, the whole family were just criminals. The whole family was just criminals. And ironically, one of them, I think one of them actually made the NFL. A member of their family made the NFL. But the family was just generally a bunch of criminals. And you think about it, that's just a whole negative atmosphere. Imagine just growing up in an environment where you say, oh yeah, it's all right to con people, to rob people and everything. It's, 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 it's some crazy stuff. But here's the thing with it. You want to put yourself in a, first of all, you got to like follow your own path. And sometimes you're going to have to split apart from some people. You got to ask yourself, is this good or bad? It's a simple thing. Do you feel good with it? Because if something negative, you still going to feel bad, even if it's something resonating with what you've been thinking. It's like, do I feel, does this make me feel good to do this? Does this bring me some joy? And that simple thing. Does it bring, bring you some real joy? Because one thing about people in these negative cultures and environments, they don't have any joy. That's the one thing. They really don't enjoy it. They really don't. They might try to act like they do, but they don't feel it. How do you feel? Seriously, you got to make sure. Like the thing everybody should be going for is to feel good. It is a deeper spiritual principle behind that. But for now, let's just say to feel good. Does it feel good to be around these people? Like whenever I'm around people I don't feel good around, I find ways to move away from them. I find ways, you know? I don't care how well I, how well I know them or they talk or they be like, hey, how you doing? I'm like, oh, they negative. I'll still be like polite, but I move away from them. I always, one of the things I do, I stay in environments and around people who I feel good around. If I got a good, if they got a good spirit. Like I told somebody at a, a local grocery store, a woman I'm just meeting, and she's real cool. And I just say, you know what, you got a good spirit. I like that, you know? And it wasn't a romantic thing or anything like that because she's married. But she got a good spirit. And I, that's what I said. It's like, now I see her, I always say hi or whatever. I, that's what I prefer. But if somebody give me a negative vibe, oh, I avoid them. They could have an open, they, if they had a grocery store or some clerk, and I've avoided clerks before. I'll say, no, nah, I'll go to the self-checkout. <laughs> Seriously, I will go, I will avoid them, or I, I, will, I will get in someone else's line. And somebody, hey, this line opened up, I'll tell the person behind me, yeah, you can go ahead. <laughs> but, you know, and that's just period, just every day, and who I even deal with, who I interact with on a regular because I'm not gonna allow someone to draw me into their negativity. And you gotta think the same thing. You wanna be in a positive environment where it feels good, it feeds your spirit. That's very important, all right? So watch that and be strong. And the thing is, you gotta be strong within yourself, all right? So anyway, that's all I have for now. I'll get back with y'all later. Peace and blessings. <laughs>